Hello and welcome to another free code session. My name is Jason Bach and I'm going to keep working on this esoteric type stuff. I did some work off camera and have made some progress. You know, I was getting hung up on the whole uh, function pointer stuff and naming and, and the name that it ends up coming up with. I think I have a quote unquote screenshot of, is it? In here, no, it's not, because uh, I, I was testing out does the make do the right stuff. And as you can see, I am getting unsafe and pointers and, and that stuff all working. The name of the, the or the callbacks, they also work you know, in terms of being built, I think. Um, the name that ends up becoming for the delegate becomes this really just awfully long looking thing. Um, and you know, it, it is what it is. I, I thought of maybe using like hash codes because they're, they would be unique. They would be unique within an application or an app domain or something like that, um, which would be fine for what we're doing here, but they'd also end up making things a lot harder to reason about. At least with these names that I create, I can look at them and go, okay, I know what that is. <clears throat> if I use a hash code, I'm like, I have no idea what this is really referring to. So I, in any event, I got a, that all working. And we now, now need to do what I think is the biggest part of all this work, which is to create these custom arg types. So they're going to be like pointer and ref like. So the, you know, there's a couple steps that need to be done in here. One of them is that the ref like types cannot do, um, that you can't store the field. You can't store the value in a field, which is what we can do right now. So if you say arg is three or just three, it will put that into the arg. And then when you do the validation, it will realize you wanted it to be equal to a specific value. You can't do that with spans because you can't store them in a field. So, which is fine because we can generate the code to say the only thing it will support is validate or any um, and the yeah, or default or something like that. So, but you can't assign it a unique value or compare it to a unique value. You can't do a validation though because you could pass that into a function and, and see if that's valid and that's fine. I'm almost positive. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, um, we're going to give this a whirl. We're going to start with pointer types first. And I believe if I've been smart enough, I've kind of, basically what I need to do is turn where it is, where is it down here? This, although the validation state has to, the, the one I currently have has to become public into something that I can build. Okay. And I don't think it should be too bad. Um, though I notice here, Oh yeah, I do. I have a internal unsafe arg of int pointer, and then I pass that in and it all works. So anyway, I should just change here quick that this is evaluation. Okay. And actually, no, 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 no. Yeah. Validation. <laughs> Sorry. I, I had it wrong and then I did it right. Never mind. Okay. Just forget, forget I ever just did that thing. All right, so the way I want to do this, according to my notes, is I want to have like builders. So the idea would be for every type within all the methods, all the properties that you're either returning or passing in that are esoteric, well, then, then we want to capture and put into a sorted set or just a, a set. And then for those that are pointer, we cr create these classes. Okay, so let's just start building stuff. No pun intended. <laughs> All right, so let's come up here. Let's go down here, builders. And we only need these for creates because makes don't do expectations. So we can just do them here and delegate builder 
Yeah, that's kind of a mm, – what's the thing I'm actually – Mock Delegate Builder. I think that's the thing I'm looking for, yeah. Um, and then what did I call it here? I thought I had a Custom Arc Types Builder. Mock Custom Arcs Type Builder. Or you could just say mock arg type builder. Okay. And then we would do something like this. Wait. This internal static class. Okay. And then we would want to get a uh, var esoteric types is equal to information. This will be fun to build. Um, methods. Because we, yeah, we want to go through all the methods. And we want to select. Well, yeah, we want to we want to go through all the methods, and we want to say for all the methods that if the type is esoteric, either return type or one of the parameter types is esoteric, then we add it to a list. So probably could do this with link, but I'm too it's too early in the morning for me to to, to think straight. So what we want to do here is private static hash set of I type symbol and esoteric esoteric types mock information information var types is equal to new hash set of I type symbol Turn types. Now we'll say for each of our method in information methods, and then we'll say for each of our method parameter and method parameters. Oh, method value parameters. If method parameter is esoteric type is esoteric, then types dot add method parameter type. And then if method not method value returns void and method value return value return type is esoteric no is types dot add method value return so that takes care of the methods and then we want to do and we don't want to convert to a four we want to convert to a link, but it couldn't figure out how to do that. Can it do it now? No, it can't. Okay. Just wanted to see how smart it was. Okay, so properties. If I'm going to have no, if for each property. If property is indexer, value is indexer, else. If property type, no, value type is esoteric, then we say 
Types not add. Type. Should have done that the first time. <laughs> If property type. Okay. Now for an indexer, we would almost basically do the same thing that we would do for a method, which lends me to go say private static Can you say add range? Types dot add range. No, you can't. Types dot concat combines two sequences. Well, yeah, but that's not kind of what because I, I don't want to say to hash set. Not you know you know. <sighs> what I want to do is put this into one method this stuff here, because I'm going to use the same thing. Oh, fine. I'll just pass the hash. I'll just pass the hash set in static void. Get esoteric types. I method symbol method hash set. I type symbol types. And then we say here that and then we would do get esoteric types for the method result dot value types. And then we don't do that. And then here we say property dot, that's right, it's not a, because it is not a method itself. Mutable array of parameter symbol. Uh, mutable array parameters. I type symbol return type. So if I'm correct, method result dot value dot return type, we would want to pass a null in this case. Okay. There. So then here we would say, If it returns void, then it's null. Otherwise, it's method result value that return type. Okay. And all right. So if we have this. And we do that and we say property.parameters. Now, does it return a void? Well, <clears throat> in this case, it is just the property.type itself. Okay. All right, so that will get you all of the esoteric types. Okay. Now, what do we do with that? Well, we say for each var esoteric, well, for each var type in get esoteric types information, mm -hmm. then we'll, what can we do? If the type is pointer, then we build something else. Else,
And what did I call these? Ref like. This would be here, pointer. So we need to do a pointer arg type builder. Okay. So let's do that. Pointer arg type builder. Internal static class. And then before I forget, the args internally new, we're going to pull into that because I want to use it other places. Actually, I think now I could have left it as internal. I don't know if I really even care to still have it be. Why did I think I needed it to be a public? Now that I'm thinking about it. Let's keep it internal. If I find a need that I actually have to break it out as being um, public, then I will do so. Okay. So you want to say something like this. So this time we're going to say I type symbol. Come on. Type. All right. So what we want to do is build something like this. Okay. <laughs> so I just realized that I need a using statement here. Do I care enough? <laughs> Do I care enough to say, because system is almost, it, it's going to guarantee to be big, to be there. So, write it out, right line. All right, line. Except we need to be a little bit smarter and we need to say arg of. And now we need type that get name, type name option, <coughs> flatten. I took out flatten generics, by the way, because that really wasn't as correct as I wanted to be intent plus plus right line. We're still going to inherit from arc. Okay. And then minus minus. And then at some point we're going to have to close it out. Yeah, it's just that simple. Okay. Now, what I want to do is say writer dot right line, something like that, except that needs to be from when I do the delegates. So how did I? Um, oh no 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 no. Um, I'm I'm thinking about this kind of wrong. Um, this isn't the same. Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> the delegate that's created here is for the entire callback to the, yeah, it's, it's the callback to the entire method. This is just a way to do a validation. In other words, what I need to do is writer dot write line. We want to do like something public, static, unsafe, delegate, blah, where we are passing in type value. And that is what we're going to use. So we need var validation delegate name. 
is equal to, what do we call it here? Evaluation. So it's going to be something like eval, evaluation. That's going to be the name of it. Type get name flatten. Except we need to do this. <laughs> you know, it's funny. This is very get name, except here we don't want to flatten it. We, we want to just give it the actual name because that's the thing that's going to go in there. But this is what's so cool about all this stuff is that you can literally just generate everything you need if you know you need it or not, which is really kind of cool if that made any sense. Okay, so now here we can say validation delegate name. And that just solved that problem. Okay, now we need to say here, writer dot redline uh, read only type dot get name, and then we need to do writer dot write line. Yeah, that should work because we're including rocks, so that should be in scope. So we do write a right line, and then we start putting in the arg name. And I'm going to want to grab the arg name here. because I'm going to use it here and we're going to use it there. Perfect. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Um, and then we're going to do the, this and we're going to say that and then we're going to do this and we're going to pull out type dot get name okay Except now we need to do this dance and this dance. Because we want to say writer dot right line. This value value. And then this. Her dot that. So we have that method, and we have one more, which is to do that. Let's do that, and then I'm going to close this episode out. Okay. So we do that, then we do this. We're going to say this, except we're going to say here our name validation delegate name. And then we're going to basically grab this because we just need to say that, this, that, 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 this, and this, that, and the other, this. <laughs> Actually, this would just be evaluation. And I could be a little bit smarter here to put in like from, you know, I will do that. We're going to say name of validation state dot name of validation state value. And that will make it safer against refactorings. I don't do this everywhere and I should. 
Oh, that's right. I got to do that. And this was evaluation. Because then if I change it, it'll show up here. Okay, I'm not going to do the rest of this, even though I only have this is valid function to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll have this and then I can do probably this for the um, ref like type because the ref like type would just not have this. It would only have the delegate and the validation state. And so um, you'd only pass in, you wouldn't do this. You would take away value and that would be it. So I'm going to do that off camera. And then the next episode, either I might do more of this off camera, but when I start generating the extension methods, now I have to actually use the arg name. And the arg name, arg name <laughs> is just arg of and then the type flattened. And so then I can project that everywhere and I don't have to worry about keeping that around. I just, I'm going to be a little bit assuming, which of course, assuming is bad. They'll probably bite me, but that will be, um, you know, a, a step. So this actually, it didn't take as long as I thought it would, which is kind of nice. So anyway, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Leave comments and questions below. See you in the next episode.